Okay, so the front of the Spangolite is very simple as well. You've got your control panel, which we'll go into at length later on. And, uh, and this door just kind of lifts up. Now, don't be afraid. It, it, it can stick a little bit. Don't worry, you'll see the edges might hit here. Don't worry about that. It doesn't interfere with the function of the machine. When you lift it up, you'll see there's two green zip ties, or two zip ties. You want to make sure that you cut these. This is the waste reel. Cut that one off. And then this just kind of holds the, uh, the head in place while it travels. And you're just going to cut this one off. You're much better with snippers because they do put these on there tight. There we go. And now we'll move on to the next step. All right, now what you could do next is you could take this front platen, just like we installed it on the back, and you see the two slots and these two kind of hooked uh, extensions there, and just put it right there like that. be very satisfying, but it's just going to get in the way for our next steps, so you may as well leave it off and, and do it later. Now I'm just going to take a brief moment and describe the anatomy inside the machine, and then I'm going to turn it over to Sean to show you how to set up for your first run. You'll see there's a couple of things. These bright orange rollers, um, they, they sit on top of rollers inside the machine, and when you put in the transfer tape, these lift up, and that is what moves the uh, transfer tape backwards and forwards. This is a waste reel. This is where all the um, post-punched Spangle Elite tape goes. And this is actually where your Spangle Elite tape cartridge sits, right in there. And I'm going to let Sean show you how that threads. And then this is where you put your punch units that we saw in the brown box in the unboxing video. Now the next thing that we're going to do is install the punch. But I wanted you to take a look at it before we do because it's a, it's a clever operation and you should know how it works. This piece right here, this uh, empty square, fits over the pin that's in the front of the Spang Elite. And that kind of slides in there. And then if you look at the bottom, you can see the bar that's punched out. So think about it like a needle on an embroidery machine. And what this actually does is this is what cuts the circle uh, of spangle material in the spangle elite. So as we see it operate later on, it's just going to pop up and down like this. That's how it works. So that is the punch unit, which Sean is going to install next. So the initial setup on the, the tape and the punch unit and the waste reel is very simple. Um, basically, you're going to put in the tape first. And um, as you can see, Sean has already untaped the bottom of the uh, spangle tape. There's a little piece of tape that holds it in and that simply snaps into place. And just set that aside and the, um, the next step is going to be to install the punch unit. It's, there's a groove right here it fits into. You got the hammer that snaps into, give it a push, gives it a nice snug. Yep, and that is installed and now it's time to, uh, to thread this. Now you can think about it as as if it's an old film, film projector, and you'll have the right idea. So there's a groove underneath the spangle tape that you will fit the tape into, and it goes underneath the two rollers on the punch reel. Would you say that, say that one more time? I'm going to do a closer, uh, closer view. All right. You're going to take your tape, and underneath the punch unit, there is a groove that the tape will fit into. It just slides right in, and the tape will go underneath the two rollers on either side. Once you get that done, you want to take off the waste reel, and that's just turning this to the right to unlock it. It simply slides off. This part stays on the machine. You want to grab yourself a little piece of scotch tape would be the best. Take the end of the, the paper tape and just attach it inside on the center reel and simply just start winding. Now when you wind, you want to make sure this goes between these two rollers. Easiest way to get that in is to pull the lever down here which separates them. Place it between it. Place the roller and then you start reeling up. Once you get it locked in and taped, you can now put the waste reel cover back on. Simply Find the opening, put it in, and turn back to the left to lock it so it doesn't slide out during your, your punching. Once that is in there, on the left side, between the rollers, you want it to go underneath the first roller, and then it comes up and over the top roller. Once that is in, I simply just turn the waste reel a, a few to make sure I've got a nice smooth path, and 
Now you are loaded and ready to go. So now that you have loaded up your Spangle Elite tape cartridge, you've got the appropriate punch unit in there, and you've seen how to attach and configure your waste reel, it's time just to put the front platen back on and close the lid to get ready to go. Simply attach it here into the grooves, make sure it's got a nice fit. Grab your lid, and when you're pulling it, just pull it towards you just a little bit to make sure you get down past these grooves. Lock it in, and you're ready to go. Now, the first time you plug it in, and every time you plug in the Spangle Elite, you want to make sure of a couple of things. First of all, plug this into the wall, naturally. And then the, the transformer here has its own power switch. So you want to make sure that it's in the on position. That's off. And then also the Spangle Elite behind the machine, if you saw from the unboxing video, also has a power switch. And I'm just going to reach behind and turn that on as well. So the back of the Spangle Elite is just as simple as the front. There is a place to, uh, to plug in your plug. Um, there's, this is the fuse that in the rare occasion that you blow a fuse, you just turn this out and the replacements come with it. Here is where you hook up your computer cable and this is your power switch. Now, the short platen attachment goes on the back and it's much easier to hook up these cables before you actually put that in. So um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this plug and I'm just going to plug it in here normally. Now this other end you'll notice, it's kind of a funky looking plug right there, right? So that actually goes into the only available space on the transformer. And I would put it in upside down like this because this is going to sit on the floor behind the, uh, the Spangle Elite and that's what plugs into the wall. The next thing I'm going to do is plug in your computer interface. It's just like one of the new printer cables, and then this USB goes right into your um, laptop or desktop computer. Remember, the Spang Elite will not run unless it's attached to your computer. And then you'll see the two slots right here. I'm just going to put these on, and you're all set. That's the back. That sound you hear is the beeping. That's kind of a warning alarm on the Spang Elite. Whenever this uh, ships, it's very likely that the emergency stop button has been depressed, and to uh, and to take care of that, you'll just need to turn it and open it up before you do your operation. All right, one thing you do want to make sure you pay attention to is you can see the roller here in the middle of the screen. You have five of these. You have one here, two underneath your red clips, and then these two. You definitely want to make sure these are sitting on top of the gray rollers so that it rolls smoothly with the paper tape to pull it in and out. If they are offset, it will not work. So please, if you do move these, Make sure they are on top of these gray rollers. Now that you're ready to start designing your, uh, your designs, first thing you want to do is place your transfer paper onto the machine. You want to grab it and you want to peel it off. Place this to the side. Next, what you want to do is when you place it on your machine, make sure you have the sticky side up. You place sticky side down and you will have problems. So simply you want to lift this bar up to pull it underneath the rollers. Push it up far enough so that when the rollers come down, it does grab the paper tape. And the other thing I do look at, when lining up to make sure it is straight, so when it, when you, it moves in and out, it's not going at an angle. And I try lining up the edge, on either the right or the left, with the edge of the table so that I know that the paper tape is straight. Once you have that set up, locked down, and it's past the rollers, you simply press the up arrow key to move the tape into the machine and ready for spangling.